Hey, God bless you guys. I pray you're having a blessed and awesome and wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. It's me back again with another video as usual. <laughs> so you guys, it's Cat Black is the channel name today. She had a rapture dream. She had another rapture dream that she wanted to share. So we're going to go ahead and get into this, you guys. Pay attention to what God is trying to tell us. So many of us are having the exact same dreams. Like, come on, how many of these do we need to share with you before you will wake up and believe that the tribulation is coming and the rapture is real and the rapture is coming before the tribulation. It's coming before the forced mark of the beast. It's coming before the Antichrist because the rapture is going to kick off the worldwide event for peace leaving the earth, Jesus leaving, like the Holy Spirit, like there ain't no peace no more. Everything's going to feel awful. So let's get into this, you guys, and watch this. Hello. Um, I'm making another video. I absolutely hate making them. Um, it's about um, another another rapture dream that I had um, last night. Um, that I thought I would share. I don't want to keep it to myself, so I'll remember it the best I can. Um, basically, so me and a group of people, I don't know who they are, who they were, were in this. Um, they were uh, sorry, we were in a uh, this house or building or something, and then. Um, they went out, I followed them outside and it was either, excuse me if this is a bit jumbled because I can't remember exactly, but it was, um, it was like different sections or segments of the dream. But so I think at one stage we went outside and it was like when we went outside, um, it was just horrible. It was dark. It was, um, things were like flying about, like, a uh, like street lights were falling and missing people. And it was just complete chaos. And, um, and I just knew that it was, it was the rapture, like was going to happen. Um, and then I says, I seen, I seen um, a cloud shaped like Jesus in the sky and I was like, oh, it's Jesus. And, you know, so, um, but things were like, there was like massive bits of building and all that, just like flying everywhere, hitting people. People were screaming. Um, it was just, it was horrible. Uh, it was really, really scary. So when I seen Jesus, um, I put my hands up and I was like, Jesus, I shouted Jesus, um, and then, but I think, I think I was, I was experiencing what the people left behind were going to experience because I was really upset that Jesus was there to take us away, but the people, the people left are the people that didn't know what was happening. And to them, it just, it, they obviously don't, didn't understand what was happening. And it was extremely scary. It was extremely scary. Really, really scary. Like I was crying as if I was crying for my mother. It was, it was horrible. And I remember at one point in the dream, um, it went all uh, dark. It went, it was, it was kind of, it wasn't like fully dark, but then it just went fully dark. All of a sudden, everyone was screaming so loud. It was just, it was horrible. Um, I think there was a, there was one point in the dream where we were looking out the window and there was like th these white lights and I don't know if it was like pylons um, falling, electrical pylons falling and it was all, it was just, it was horrible. Everything was all, it, there was, um, There, there wasn't any, there wasn't any time to, it just, it was just happening. And there was, 
there was just nothing that anyone could do about it. But I feel as though I had, because I was so upset, it was just a horror, it was horrible. So if you're watching this and you don't know Jesus, I would, I really would advise you to, to, um, to accept him as your saviour because when this happens, it's, and the, no one round about me, I think I've met one person round about me in my area that that knows that Jesus is about to come back. Um, so, which makes it more kind of surreal because, you know, I feel, qu I guess, alone because, and the people that I've spoken to, that they're genuine Christians. I think they just, they just enjoy their life with Jesus, and that's nice. And I'm, I'm not like I enjoy my life with Jesus as well. Will I miss, will I miss this world? No, not at all. I won't miss it. There's not a single thing in this world that I will miss. And, um, but it is daunting to think because the rapture is essentially you going to your afterlife. So I it is daunting, it is, you know. Um, so that was the dream and I had to go on and share it because like, I I think it's it's just, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be horrible. I, I believe, I believe that when the rapture it happens, that it's gonna go all dark and um, it's going to be very sudden and very quick and people aren't going to know what hit them. And so I think that's it. I just, I wanted to say, I wanted to say, to share my dream. If you don't know Jesus, the gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Um, and it's basically Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present and future. And he was buried and he rose again on the third day to save us from eternal damnation to hell. So you just, all you have to do is put your faith and trust in Jesus alone. He is the only one that um, can wash you white as snow and um, you just, you have to repent. You, you know, you have to turn away from your, your sinful nature and you have to follow him and obviously read the Bible and um, get water, water baptised if you can and just the Holy Spirit will then indwell in you once you believe with your heart and soul that Jesus is the Son of God and that he died for us to save us from eternal damnation then you will be saved and um, the Holy Spirit will indwell in you and he will, um, he will guide you and change you. Amen. And I also want to say too that, um, you know, uh, something earlier that she was talking about was that, you know, she's got maybe like one Christian friend that will listen to her, you know, talking about the end times and the rapture. And, you know, it's, you know, it reminded me of the scripture that says that, you know, um, a prophet is not welcome, like in his own town. Like if you're around people that know you, right. They're just like, Oh, that's just so-and-so, you know, that's just cat. Like that's just cat, you know? Um, and even though they believe in Jesus, it's like, they're just kept swept up into their own. They don't want to think about Jesus returning. They just want to have faith in Jesus, but they want to go about their daily lives, you know? And it's like, the church is sleeping. They're like, no, leave me alone. I want to stay asleep. I want to be sleeping. I don't want you to be trying to wake me up to like the end times because that's too stressful. You know, it's like, come on, wake up. Like, what is going on? You know, like you need to be awake and ready and getting, you know, on fire for Christ and telling people that he's coming because, you know, there's an urgency now. And the church needs to wake up to that urgency. But, you know, glory to God, like just bring your dream to the Internet. Right. So like other people, because there are people that will listen. So you can just 
I'm I'm so glad. Like this is exactly what you should do. You should just bring your dream to YouTube, to the internet, like so that it can be shared and it can reach other people that are, you know, not just in your circle and your area, you know, because if those people don't want to listen, okay, well then go out, you know, go out to somewhere else. Like, like just the same thing that Jesus did, you know, when he was in his own town, they were like, wait a minute, is this, this is Jesus we're talking about. This is just Jesus, just, you know, James brother or whatever, you know. And uh, they couldn't hear the message. So we have to go out, you know. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And he, Jesus is my savior and he saved my life. I think that's it. But basically, Jesus is, is coming back at any moment. It just, I just don't understand how people want to stay here. It's just, but everything looks normal just now. If, if you're not watching the news and all that, everything looks normal. Um, you know, the likes of us who are watching, like the the news about all sorts of things that, that's happening. You know, Libya, the floods, and um, you know things like that. Like you know, what's, and obviously the UN meeting with the covenant with many, and we know what where this is going. So I just pray that people wake up and get saved and repent before it's too late. Um, God bless everyone and thank you for listening. Thank you so much, sister, for sharing that with us. Glory to God. And yeah, like this video wasn't that long ago and now we've got Israel going to war. Like, what? Why? Why, why do we have Israel going to war? Focus, Kara. Camera, I need you to focus on me. Focus. <laughs> okay. So yeah, amen. Glory to God, you guys. So definitely we need to be telling everybody about Jesus. So if you guys made it to the end of this video, please leave below down in the comments um, crazy baby noises because there's been crazy baby noises right now. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye.